Space Muffins! It's Spacey Sims and Dewey are back with another installment of The Sims for My Little Pony with Twilight Sparkle and Spike. Um, so, cool. This is interesting. I came in and I got the little notification that Twilight was late for work. So, cool. I mean, since we had to start a whole new game file, she still kept her job as a scientist. So, that's pretty awesome. Um... I had saved her from the other game, the original game. I knew that she would keep all of her, um, like, things, you know, the thingies, the skills. That's the word I'm looking for. Good job, Spacey. Woo! Um, I knew they would keep their skills, but I didn't think they would actually keep their jobs or anything. So, he still has his job. Cool. Nice. You should probably do your homework, Spiky Wikies. I feel bad that the poor kid's perpetually in high school, but, you know. I mean, he's supposed to be a baby dragon, but he's got to be useful for something. So this is pretty cool. I'm quite excited about this. So, and she's still level three. Um, we came into the game when I started. It was like five o'clock, and I decided to just wait till, you know, Twilight came home to start recording. But, yeah, so that was pretty cool. She did her thing. Um... What other skill does she need to increase level 5 at? She could do a comedy <laughs> skill. Handiness. She's already got level 5 and... Oh, 4 skills. She needs to get in 5 skills. Um, We could try... I don't know what... I guess comedy is the only thing that she can possibly... Oh, she's helping with this homework. That's so cute. That's so cute! Does she have to go to work tomorrow? I actually was a little... Yeah, dang it. I was a little disappointed with... <laughs> I mean, I'm a little... I was happy, I guess, that they weren't going to have their jobs, thinking that they weren't going to have their jobs, because then I was like, okay, I can focus on more uh, important things, like making friends and doing stuff. That's not your bed. No. Get up. Go over here. This is your bed. I'm not going to do the clean bed interactions, because I just... I don't think that... I don't know if that's what breaks it, and I'm not going to risk that, you know. Um, okay, so she's sleeping. Spike's awake doing his homework. And then he needs to eat something. We need to have him go get some food, and then we'll have him go to bed. So this is a really great start to this episode, is like everybody is like, eat, like sleeping. But whatevs. Um... Let's see if anyone's wandering around town. Oh, so this is where the pot I mean the pies, the cakes live. They live in this little house. I downloaded from the gallery. I did not make this. Um, I have no idea who did make it. But it's cute because it's like four little condo things. Um, they're all like single bedroom ones though, so whatever. Um, the cakes live there by themselves right now. I figured at some point I was going to add other people. Um, this is the new princess castle that I put in. Instead of using the other one that we had, this one was a little bit smaller. So it's not as much if you're walking around in it to try to get around and not as confusing. Plus, I just, I don't know. I thought it worked. I kind of thought it was cute. I wanted a little bit of a change. There's Princess Luna. That's Cupcake. Cupcake? Was that her name? Was that her name, Cupcake? I don't know. That's Mrs. Cake oh, at any rate. Dag, dag. She's got her giant pearl earrings. And Mr. Cake also has... Uh, a little apron on because hi that's the way they're supposed to be dressed i also changed the um house that dr hooves and derpy live in because this more looks like a this looks like a little science facility and then it's like you go in the basement and that's kind of it reminded me of like a tardis so i kind of like that and this is still the little clubhouse um it's the same as the one that i had in the other game um did he not eat he just went straight to bed what a weirdo anyway um, it's the same one. I saved it from my other, because that was something that somebody else had built, and then I changed a little bit to make it more like a clubhouse, um, for the kids. So, I just saved that from my other game, and, you know, so that's that. This is the change to this area of the neighborhood. Um, and Shining Armor and Princess Cadence live over there. So, actually, you should be able to see in twi- Good lord, if I could click the right things, that would be helpful. 
So here you go. And then it shows Cadence. Cadence Princess. So yeah, cool. So she's got her family ties now, and Pinkie Pie does as well. So we'll see that in the next episode when we play with Pinkie. She has to go to work today, but I'm debating... Um, oh, God, we need to clean this out. Um, I'm debating maybe having her take the day off. Uh, resume garden salad. Because you're hungry. And we obviously don't have any food. Because, you know. Yeah, maybe you should... Yeah, go to the bathroom and that okay. And then we're gonna have you serve breakfast. Let's have you serve French toast, because he's the chef in the family. He's the one that cooks. Twilight's usually too busy, but you know. Mm -hmm. I really don't like how when they have low cooking skill they pick their ear and then stick it in the salad. That's disgusting. Like she's totally eating earwax. It's an earwax salad. It's not It's not a garden salad. It's an earwax salad. That is yep. disgusting. Earwax. It makes me think of that part in <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> when Dumbledore's <laughs> talking about the birdie bots beans. <laughs> the earwax. Oh, I love the original Dumbledore. Oh. Okay, so I might have her take a vacation day so we can go out and make some friends. Eat your duvet. Oops, I'm right here. Take a vacation day. Enjoy your day off. I'll make sure. Yes, on vacation. School for Spike starts in an hour. So let's actually have her go over here. I was going to do visit with, and then I'm like, that's right, Spike's going to school, we can't visit with anybody. So we're going to have her visit Shining Armor. I guess he's the only one that's home right now, so that's cool. We can check him out. And check out the new digs for the princesses. Princesses. Um, but yeah. So this is exciting. I, I get nervous every single time I load a... Oh look, they're all here! Okay, so... Um... So Princess Luna and Princess Celestia got a little bit updates. Um, not too much. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, I just changed their clothes mostly. I tweaked her face a little bit. I think I changed her makeup a little bit too. Um, their personalities and everything are the same. I really just kind of changed their clothes a little bit. And Shining Armor and Princess Cadence. Are chilling out over here. Great new neighbor. You already know him. He's your brother. Weirdness. His voice is weird. Um, I didn't actually, when I was making all of the other uh, Sims to put in the town, all the other ponies, I did not actually um, do their voices or walks. I was, I was watching TV and like streaming Netflix and like build them in CAS and I was like, I've got my computer on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I realized, like, after I did so many of them, I was like, yeah, I haven't been doing their voices. Nah, don't care. Like, so. It's weird. I always forget about the walk and the voices and everything like that. More choices. Funny. Let's get our uh, funny skill up, maybe. Theorize about aliens. He could be better. I don't know. Now I'm looking at him, I'm like, Meh. That's alright, I had a lot of sims to build. Where did everybody else go? Oh, do we have to seriously... Where's the front door in this house? Is this the front door? Knock on door. I We're already here visiting, but we gotta knock on the door. Ooh, hang out. Who's over here? Two random dudes Holiday. and vinyl scratch. <laughs> Some random kids walking around. Ooh, derpy. Derpy, derpy, derpy. Being derpy. She should be here, because this is where she lives. 
We're going to knock on the door so we can go inside and visit the other peeps in here. Yo! So, like, whoa, okay. Down here, I, th I threw in the bed down here just so there would be, like, an extra place for them to sleep. But that's supposed to be, I guess, where you're putting, like, I don't know what you're supposed to put on those. But anyway. So it's a cute little castle. It's a lot smaller. But I really like this one a lot. Um, it's got, like, a kid's room and everything. So we can pretend. So there's... Princess Luna, where's Celestia? Oh, no, that was Celestia. I'm crazy. Um, I was looking for Cadence. Oh, she's way up here. Whoa, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is, my game doesn't want to handle, like, zooming and up on this level. It seriously doesn't, because, like, it's, like, wicked blurry up here. Is it just... What in the hell is going on? Oh good, is she coming downstairs? Because I don't like this. It's blurry up there. Okay, this... <laughs> Maybe the other one was better. This one doesn't play well. Okay, good. Maybe she's going to come downstairs. Because it's like so high up there and for some reason it was like really blurry. Like, my game doesn't, like... No, it's still really blurry to me. Is it me? Am I crazy? I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. Doesn't seem very sharp in here, so I don't I don't really know. What's going on? Oh, my God. And my computer... My... I, I kind of quit with this lot already. Like, what is he... Oh, he... Is he a scientist, too? Cool. Um... Were you gonna talk to Cadence? I guess not. Then, what the heck? You're trying to talk to Shining Armor, but he's not. Okay, why don't you come down here and chat with? Would you stop walking away? Come down here. Maybe they'll all come down. Cause it does not. My game. I don't know why my game does not want to like walk around up there. Why are they going outside to chat? What in the hell is going on? Seriously, we're going to go chat and she had to run all the way to the front yard. What in the... Okay, I. you know what? I Call over. Let's call her over. Fine, we'll just chat in their front yard. I have no idea why they don't want to be in the house. But you know what? That's fine. I don't really want to be in the house either. I thought she went up and knocked on her own door. I don't know, it was weird. Funny introduction. She's also like super duper skinny because that's kind of the way Luna and Celestia are. Super duper like skinny legged. Hi. Come over here. Twilight and Cadence don't know each other yet, which is weird, but that's okay. So we're going to get to know these guys. Discuss logic puzzles. Hey, hey, Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash, come on. No, we didn't want it. The game didn't want to click on her. It's okay. It's cool. She's walking too fast anyway. Well, the nice thing about standing on the sidewalk is we can sit here and we can, uh... <laughs> Check out who else might be coming around. Well, we're not going to really see them because we got to go over here. Sorry, I'm making everybody dizzy. I'm making myself dizzy. I'm trying to just get a good angle. So we're just standing out here chatting. So they're like, she's like getting to know people. She's like, hey, so I have an awesome idea. How about I don't move to this town and make friends? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Talk about handiness. Uh huh. Tell a joke about aliens. Oh 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 oh. Funny introduction. Come back over here and chat with us. Come back over here and chat with us. Forget it. Rude. Just walking away like that. It's cool that we can see other people walking by. 
Um, Dom Sabuna, Arbs. Okay, so she's getting to know people, and they're just having fun. Um, blarg, blarg, blarg. There's Derpy. Bye, Derpy. Hi, Derpy. Bye, Derpy. Group conversation, getting to know people, making friends. That's what she's supposed to do. We should have her go to, like... She would totes go to, like, the library. And then we can see if any of the other sims and some of the other towns are running by. Yay! All right, let's have you travel and go to the library. <laughs> so you got to know, like, you did not meet Princess Luna at all, but uh, I have to my nose, guys. Sorry. Sorry, took my allergy pill at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, so it's not working as effectively as it should. Should we go... Oh, there were actually... That's true. There's only one library, isn't there? Yes, there is. So these are... A, there's a bunch of people, and I just plopped them on all over in these houses, so... Library, that's where we want to go. I kept thinking museum before, so now my brain is, like, on museum. I was like, she should go to the museum. No, it would be the library. That's the word I'm looking for. Not good with words today, apparently. Not at all. Not at all. Ugh. But yeah, ooh, and a wee to yawn. Ugh. Loading screens, man. They make me want to take a nap. No, I'm just kidding. It's cool. They they make me nervous, though. Because that's when things like crash. Let's check out who's in here, huh? Anybody from town? John Floyd, who is yellow, like a pony. Dora Our librarian looks like a pony. Fl I made Flim and Flam. <laughs> just because I really wanted to make the one with the mustache. That's Flam. But this is Flim. I really wanted to make Flam because he had a, that awesome rockin' mustache. And, uh, hey look! He looks like he fits perfectly in this town and I didn't even make him. I it's Mr. Cake. The yellow always is weird. It's really hard to make yellow sims. Don't mind that he's like ghastly yellow and it's kind of horrible, but nice makeup, dude. We were just at your house. How are you here? It's creepy. Um and let's go up. Who else is up here? Nobody's up here. Why is nobody up here? It's a nice area. There's somebody. Who's that? That's Mrs. Cake, I think. I think this is Mrs. Cake. It totes Mrs. Cake. Totes cake. Uh oh. There we go. Um nobody else is hanging around out here. So let's see. She's reading a book. Is she actually gonna talk to anybody in the library? So a bunch of random people. Vinyl scratch is everywhere. This girl is kind of a stalker. We should be friends with her. She really wants to be friends. <laughs> And funny introduction. And funny introduction. We're going to introduce ourselves to a lot of people. All the people that I made. Forget everybody else. She can talk to them if she really wants to. But They really do need like places that you can go to eat. I mean, she can go outside and make hot dogs, I guess. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Whoa! Flim is flirty! She's going to have a future boyfriend. Not you, dude. <gasps> There's people out here. Oh, good. Someone's making food. We should come out here and eat. Hey, look. It's Fluttershy. You know who I saw? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Check that suit out. Come on. He's such a pimp. <laughs> I love him so much. He is really one of my favorites. Look at the way he walks. Uh, that's awesome. I used some of my other sims that I've used before, like, created... Like a long time ago. And uh, made him and that's why he walks that way. <laughs> like, I really did. Like, I'm going through like my gallery of sims that I've made before. And I'm like, yeah, let me just. Uh... So really? No, Twilight. You're not. You're supposed to come out here and introduce yourself to Fluttershy. Oh, what do we have over here? Ooh. Veggie burgers? Or grilled chicken? I guess we'll have grilled chicken. Oh! 
Yeah, that's Sunset Shimmer. Sunset Shimmer. Sunset Shimmer. Let's come over here and eat. Okay, stop talking. Come over here and eat. You're hungry, girlfriend. Get your booty out here and eat now. That's like the best hair I had. That was multiple colors. I also didn't want every single sim that I make to have the same hair, so I had to try to... They probably all do anyway. It was like trying to be different with most of them, and then like... All of them are yellow. Like, I don't know what it is with My Little Pony, why they like yellow. Why do they like yellow ponies? Because there's so many of them. And Sunset is flirty. Wow. Funny introduction. Chat with her. Oh. <laughs> Here's Fluttershine. We can slow this down a little bit. You're feeling... A this is a little weird, girlfriend. Tell her a funny story. Get to know her. To big game strategy. Ask about day. Get to know. This is some other lady. Piper Little. Oh my god, if Final Scratch comes and sits down, that's going to be awesome. This is so much fun! She's just chatting and getting to know everybody! Also, their traits may not be like how they are, because I don't know every single pony in the show, and I kind of just was reading the wiki page and like eh, okay this you know just based on that kind of just did the best plus i had to try to make them a little bit different everybody can't be good and friendly and outgoing and cheerful and like then everybody would be the same so although i mean there's not like a huge like they we need some we need more traits in the game we really do you know, we need like shy. Ooh, a bird. That's my face. Thanks for flying into it. Um, this is good. She's making friends. Um, more choices. Friendly. Deep conversation. Get to know. <laughs> she had a breakthrough. Cool. Final Scratch is a music lover. Go fig! They should be besties. Those are both music lovers. She has to pee, so she's going to have to go back to the lot. She is taking the longest time to eat. I'm not even kidding. I mean, she's eating properly. Like, talk, take a bite. Talk, take a bite. But it's taken her like six hours to eat. Okay, we're gonna have to stop conversation. Okay, bye. Let's follow her quickly to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Thank you. Alright. Anybody new in here? <gasps> Funny introduction. Everybody needs to know Discord. I just, he's fabulous. I don't know why, I just really, I just liked him. I just liked him a lot. <laughs> Romance, that's not what I wanted to do. Discuss interests. He's a goofball, he's mean, and he's insane. <laughs> I really think they need to have something like a mischievous trait. So instead of being mean or evil, you can be mischievous. Where it's like, you're not necessarily evil, you know, or mean, but you just like to cause mischief. Because I kind of feel like that's the way he is, you know, but we made him mean. Because, you know, we got to have some mean and evil sims and stuff like that running around. Everybody can't be good. Knock, knock, joke. Uh, gossip about video game pros. Oh, never mind. Forget it. Let him go. 
Cool. Say bye. Hey, he was no. leaving. Okay, what in the heck is going on here? Alrighty. Alright, let's go home. There's too much going on right now. Okay, bye. Let's go home. You're getting tired. We had a fun day out, chit chat. Bye, Derpy! I don't know why Derpy's in her party outfit. Unless I gave her two everyday outfits. I may have. I didn't get... She's totes invisible. She was totally invisible. We were just watching the sidewalk walk by. That was really bizarre. Um, I'm just sneeze again. Oh my lord. Oof! Sorry, I don't mean to leave you hanging on loading screens because I know how thrilling they are. Totally thrilling! But, um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep! I don't know what to say. Um, alright, so you can probably go to bed. And what's you doing? Oh, you're being good. Watching TV in your PJs. Why are you in your PJs? Strange little chubby kids. That's true. He's. We have to keep him in his disguise because otherwise everyone freaks out and he gets sad from being discovered. It's okay, you're a dragon. That's true. I should have made all the other sims that weren't quote-unquote ponies. I should have made them aliens, too, but whatever. I don't really think about that. <laughs> I made so many of them in such a short period of time. So, again, don't mind if they're not perfect. Um, so, I guess we're just hanging out with Spike. Do we put the food in the fridge? Yeah. Did you do your homework? You did it, but did you do it... Where in the world did you put your homework? You didn't do your homework. Where in the world did you leave it? Is it upstairs? It is upstairs, isn't it? Yes, it is. Come up here and do it. Um, you did your homework yesterday, but you need to get your grade up, because you shouldn't be flunking out. We're going to get a call from the principal. You know, plus we got nothing else to do, because Twilight's asleep, and now Spike is doing his homework, so I'm just going to... Super speed through this, and, um, then we'll send him to bed. I mean, and then we're going to end up watching them sleep. That's pretty much going to be the episode, so that's a little, this is so bizarre, it's like poking through. It's like glowing in here. Okay, you should put this in your inventory. But everyone is sleeping now, or not. Why aren't you sleeping? What in the world is wrong with you? I told you to go to sleep. Didn't I? Turn off. Um. Oh, it's seven hours until spoil. We'll have him finish eating that when he's when he wakes up, which he's almost awake, and she's going to have to get some breakfast. She's got work probably soon, and you definitely need to take a shower, girl. You are going to start stinking soon. I feel like that he's a glutton, because that's so how Spike eats stuff and gems in his face. Like a little piggy. They're so good! I mean, that's how we all eat cookies, isn't it? Just shove them in our face. The, the calories on Oreos is for the whole package, not just one cookie. Or not a serving. Serving is a whole package. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, that'd be way too much, but no. It'd be kind of fun, though. No, I want cookies. Can't have cookies. Uh, need to pee. Go to pee. And when you're done eating, you'll take a shower. That's true, you have to share a bathroom, don't you? No, wait, didn't I make Spike his own bathroom? I did make Spike his own bathroom. He did done use it. Whatever. That's fine. It's just there in case somebody's in the shower and somebody else has to pee. Um. Okay, so she is going to, we're just kind of going through the motions right now because we've really don't have much time left and she's gonna have to go to work soon she's gonna go over here and play in that and 
Let's see, she do what she needed to do for work? Yeah, she had six breakthroughs. That's perfect. So, her performance is low because she didn't go to work yesterday. Well, I mean, the day before. We should have you come over and dig these up. Um, just for the heck of it. Just because we can. Oh, you should collect microscopic samples. Because you can always maybe do those. But, um... Yeah. So, I guess we can wrap this part up here. I know we didn't, like, go to work with her or anything like that. I am excited that she kept her job. That's pretty cool. Um, but... Oh, who was that walking by? I don't know. Um, anyway. We can just harvest this and collect a microscopic sample. But, yeah. So, but we had her make some friends and we got to know some people in the town. We saw some of the other sims that we've made. Um... So yeah, that's pretty cool. But, um, who's this dude coming toward us? I don't know who Sage Floyd is, but that's a good name. Sounds like a pony name. Anyway! Yeah, so, where in the world did she go? Where did she go? Oh, she's up here playing chess by herself. That's cool. So yeah, I will wrap this part up here, and when we come back, we will play with Pinkie Pie, and we will get to know some other people in the town, because we'll probably... Uh, run her bakery so that's good we'll get to see some other people hopefully some of our new townsfolk will be coming in and we can start to slowly get to know everybody uh, we're gonna send her alone um, but I will actually I'll just let her go um, to work while we are talking and yeah uh, but yeah so I will see you guys next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more